you know, that, was, that that was coming. Well, we have good uh, shoes on this, but did you, did you want me to do it? No, that's all right. Go ahead. Um, we we're, we have done a great job all year long in terms of how we've played and inside, outside. We have tremendous uh, post player in Johnny O'Brien. When you get touches and teams double and you make the right passes out of there, when our guys get their feet set, good looks at the basket, we shoot a much higher percentage. We're more patient in the second half. guys on the other side of the coach there. That first half was kind of like the Alabama game the other night where it was a lot of team ball and share of the ball. How important was that to come out of the second half and do that? So, oh, oh, it was very important for us. You know, um, we came up with it on our modern night. Um, we played great team ball today. We executed. Um, we went inside to our big men. They got doubled, so they um, made the right play, kick it out the shooters, and we was able to knock down some shots tonight. Sean, you had a particularly big second You know, and the freshmen are playing well. You know, they they been through the fire. You know, we had our close games this season, so uh, you know we was used to it. We just um, we just pushed through. You know, uh, got the score back up. Coach uh, Martin began with an air ball, then he, he missed another shot. Then he got really high. I think he had 16.6 rebounds in the first half. Uh, what got him going? Uh, no, he's just a very confident basketball player. Although he's a freshman, uh, the good thing about him, he's had to play a lot of quality minutes for us all year long. And uh, because of that, I think we're reaping the rewards and benefits uh, of what he's going for all season through a tough uh, conference play. And, and tonight, when he missed that first shot, he's done a tremendous job all year long putting things behind him and getting on to the next play. Did they do anything in the second half? You said two points in the second half. Did they make some sort of adjustment with him? I'm not sure exactly what they did. We actually uh, sat him for, for a bit because we got in a rotation taking our big guys with him and had him off the floor, fell off the floor, so I for a considerable amount of uh, time. And uh, he didn't take probably as many shots out there in the second half, but then he made some tough plays at the uh, rim, went to him, and they uh, knocked the ball up, and they doubled at him, and did a great job of trying to get to his driving lane uh, there late. But I thought overall, I thought he was just trying to get the ball to other guys on the floor. Coach, I assume you probably didn't know a whole lot about the U.S. until Sunday, maybe, maybe not even after that. What did you expect from USF, and what did you see from the Dons tonight that either met your expectation or didn't? Well, I was very familiar with the coach. We're in the same league in the Sun Belt uh, for a while when I was at the University of North Texas. He was head coach of Florida Atlantic. In the fall of his uh, career, I hear more so uh, his wins. Uh, he's been watching his team as much, but uh, over those last few days, uh, I knew that they would be a little coach basketball team. It would be tough. The great shooting basketball team we were concerned about, that three-point line. Uh, the, them stretching it, getting uh, three pointers, and uh, thought we did a great job of one trying to keep them off the line uh, tonight. But their post action was uh, what we thought it would be, and we did not do a great job in handling their post play because they've got some easy scoring opportunities down there against us. Juwan, you said you didn't think much while it was going on, but you guys just won a game and kept your season alive. What's that feel like as you're sitting up there? I feel good, you know. After the game, they hired me. Said we got a, we got a, um, more life to go, you know. So we um. Getting ready for our next game, you know, it's very exciting for me and the team. You know, we got a um, great one on the roll, and we got a um, good one coming up with SMU. A lot of people contributed. Was it pretty meaningful that you and Andre both hit big shots in that run that gave you a little bit of breathing room? Yeah, that gave us a lot of breathing room. You know, we got great home um, guys on the team, got the ability to score the ball and defend, so they helped us out a lot. 
Did this feel, for Johnny or Siobhan, did this feel, obviously you guys, I assume, want to be in the NCAA tournament. Did this feel different to you? Did this feel like a postseason game uh, or, or just another game? It feel like a postseason game. You know, they had a great crowd come out. Um, we know that we got, we playing for something. We um, still got basketball left and it's great playing in the NIT. We know we're trying to win. Just out of curiosity, is, it, is this the first time you've ever been in San Francisco for you guys? Yeah, maybe. Uh, what, did you get a chance to, to look around or anything? Just wanted to... Um, <laughs> Oh, not really. You know, this, this was our business for us. Right. I mean, we, you know, we, we got a chance to see, you know, see things as we were driving through. But, you know, we, we were more focused on coming down to win the basketball game. Thank you. Anything else, Coach, on the future of Bridget? Thank you.